Hello everyone, welcome back. I've decided to do another little video to see if this time I can get my actual head in it. <laughs> if you missed my head yesterday and you didn't read everything in the page, you can go to my Facebook cooking page, which is Sexy in the Kitchen. Just go search for Sexy in the Kitchen on Facebook and you'll find it all in its glory. Anyway, yes, I am wearing a muumuu. Love it. And I am drinking kava. Okay, so tonight I am going to um, do a really, really simple uh, dish. It's pretty quick. And if you don't have any meat, not a problem because this one doesn't need meat. So I'm going to do um, a gluten-free spaghetti tonight with a very light olive oil and butter and wine sauce with pistachios and tomatoes and garlic and parsley. So I've got my tomatoes already chopped. I've got a little parsley already chopped. I have my garlic and I got about two tablespoons of butter and I have my pan heating. So what I'm going to do now is I am just going to put a couple turns around the pan with some olive oil, put the butter in, let that saute down, add the garlic and then add the tomatoes and I will come back to show you what to do from there. See you in a second, bye. Hi guys, I'm back and I just wanna kinda of show you um, how it looks in the process while it's cooking so you have an idea. So again, I sauteed about two tablespoons of butter and a couple swirls around the pan of, of olive oil, a cooking olive oil, not a fancy one, cause that'll burn. And I sauteed in a lot of red chili flakes and the garlic. And as soon as that kind of bubbled and you could smell the garlic, I then added the tomatoes and I'm gonna let those cook down for a little bit. Let me grab that fucking wine, okay. And um, when it cooks down a little bit, we're gonna add, I don't know, a splish splash of some white wine. I eyeball everything, I don't freaking measure. And um, we're gonna just put a little bit of wine in there, let that kind of reduce. And I will start boiling the pasta now. Remember to always keep a little bit of pasta water for your sauce. Um, if you don't know what that does, it acts like um, a glaze, kind of like your freaking hair, you know, shiny and gives it um, this glossy look. So the pasta adheres to the sauce a little bit better with the pasta water, ah, freaking science stuff. So um, that's it. So I will get all of this going the, the parsley goes in a little bit later as a finish and so does the pistachio. So we'll pull it all together in a minute. Bye. I wish you guys could smell the house right now. Um, th there's something about the freaking smell of garlic and just home cooking that, I don't know, I love it. Okay, so we are done. And I'm telling you this dinner took all of what? maybe 15 minutes, including prep to make. It was a matter of boiling the noodles, quite honestly. Um, I don't use a strainer. Maybe it's just because I'm effing lazy and I don't wanna clean another dish, but I just take my tongs and take the noodles from the freaking boiling water and put it in the pot. I like it. It also makes the sauce thicken up a lot quicker um, than normal. So now let's plate. I love this thing, um, this giant pasta fork. For me, it is, that's what it is. So you can get this at, I think, Williams Sonoma, and it is amazing because what you're going to do is you're going to loop it through the pasta and just twirl it so that you get a presentation. This is such a cheap, dinner, I don't know if you guys can see me, so I've got it on there, and you're just twirling it around. I mean, it's not gonna be perfect, I'm not effing Gordon Ramsay, but I could give him a run for his money. So, twirl it around. I may have a little bit too much on there, but it doesn't matter, you'll get the hint. And then you put it on the plate like this, and you slide the fork out, you see how pretty that is? It comes out like restaurant ready. So now then what you do is just go through, get a little bit more of your tomatoes on there. I don't 
pick up the noodles. Lay them on top. And now you take your pistachios and you garnish your dish. Sometimes you can uh, put a little bit more of a finishing olive oil on top if you want that like really amazing extra flavor on it. You know what, fuck it, let's do that. So let me get my, <laughs> let's do it. Let me get my really good olive oil. And when I say just a drizzle, I mean like boop, just a drizzle because it'll bring that extra fruitiness out of the oil. And that is it. And I will tell you that this cold the next day out of the Tupperware is even better. So that is dinner tonight for one. And if this gets cut off, go to Facebook and see it in its glory. Bye.